Greetings all, and welcome back to the channel. If you didn't know, the new version 1.0.4 firmware is available for the Trimmy i Smart Pro. It notably improves the convenience of using the device and gives you a bit of a boost in running PSP games with Vulkan support, apparently. I have done the research, and although it's still early days for this update, I will give you a quick rundown of the benefits to updating your unit, so you can decide if you want to do it or wait for the next one. I will also give you a quick breakdown at the end of the video on how to update, so stick around if you want some guidance. And remember to like and subscribe if you find some value from this video. It is much appreciated and truly helps me to keep creating awesome content like this. The latest firmware update for the Trimi iSmart Pro introduces a slew of improvements that elevate the device's capabilities. There are about 15 changes, but if I had to cover all of them in detail, this video would stretch out too long. So instead, I'm going to highlight the four most significant enhancements. If you want to check out the full list, you can head over to the GitHub page for a comprehensive breakdown. First up in the list is Bluetooth audio support. I'm sure one of the most highly anticipated features in the new firmware is the addition of Bluetooth audio support. According to reports from Joey over at Joey's Retro Handouts, he tested the Bluetooth audio functionality and it is now fully operational. This means you can enjoy your favorite games with wireless headphones or speakers, untethering from the device and immersing yourself in the experience. Another notable upgrade is the incorporation of media player support. This feature allows users to watch movies directly on their Trimmy iSmart Pro, expanding the device's versatility beyond just gaming. I can't imagine that there are too many people that would be excited about this, as I think most of us stream our content nowadays on our phone, which we always have with us. So manually copying movie files onto your handheld gaming device is a bit tedious. But hey, the chances are the Pro probably has a bigger screen than your smartphone, so maybe that may be a reason to use this. Something more relevant though is the introduction of Moonlight streaming capabilities, enabling users to connect their Trimmy iSmart Pro to their PC remotely and stream games from their home computer. This feature opens up a world of possibilities, allowing gamers to access their extensive PC game libraries on the go and experience their favorite titles on the device's compact and portable form factor. Just make sure you're connected to proper Wi-Fi and you're all set. Last but not least, the most significant improvement in the firmware is the addition of Vulkan support for PSP emulation. According to a video by YouTuber Mr. Roboto, this update has resulted in a smoother gameplay experience, particularly in games like GTA Vice City Stories. Another one of my commenters also reported a noticeable improvement in the performance of PSP shooters such as Blackrock Shooter and The Third Birthday. Props to Tombstone Freak for the heads up and feedback he provided. I owe you a coke, my man. Apparently though, some PSP games may still run at 30fps, unfortunately falling short of the ideally suited 60fps frame rate. Despite this, early indications are that Vulkan support has enhanced the overall emulation experience on the Tremu iSmart Pro. Seeing that this unit can be found on AliExpress for between $60 to $80, the firmware update just makes it all the more enticing, even if it only offers a slight performance increase. With that said, here is a quick rundown of how to update the unit. Bear in mind though that I do not own one, but I'm sure you will be successful if you follow the guide. If you want to see what this actually looks like in practice, check out Mr. Roboto's video in the link in the description. With that said, here are the steps to update your unit. First, you'll need to visit the Trimmy iSmart Pro GitHub page and locate the latest firmware release. There are two files that you need to download. One to update the firmware on the unit and one to update the SD card that holds all your other data. So head over to the links in the description and download the necessary files which include the firmware image and the SD base contents. Extract both the downloaded files to access the needed content. Next, use a flash tool like Belena Etcher to write the firmware image found on the firmware files to an SD card. This will prepare the SD card for the update process. Remove the original SD card that has your ROMs and BIOS files from the Trimio Smart Pro and insert the newly flashed SD card. Power on your Trimio Smart Pro and it will automatically begin the update process. You'll see a progress bar on the screen and the device may hang for a bit at the start, but don't worry, this is normal. Once the update is complete and the screen goes dark, you're done and you can remove the update SD card. You now need to insert the original SD card with your ROMs and BIOS files into your computer. Open the SD card and copy all the contents from the original SD base package to the card, replacing any existing files. Finally, place the updated SD card back into your Trimmy iSmart Pro and power on the device. You should now be running the 1.0.4 firmware 
with all the new features and improvements. I hope that helps you and that you are excited about some of the improvements in the new firmware. If you want to take a look at another retro handheld that is slightly more powerful than the Trimu iSmart Pro, have a look at my overview of the Anbenic RG556 by clicking on the link on screen now. That's it for this video though. Have a nice day and I will catch you in the next one.